Now we have character description, which I've been talking about recently. Um, having your revealing your character's appearance through a reflection is cliche. There are ways to do it. Um, Michael, I don't know how to say his last name, Jork, but Jork, I'm so sorry. Uh, just did some TikToks about this. It's basically just too convenient, you know? And particularly for a third person narrator, it's not really necessary. It's done, I think, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this, I think it's done more with first person narrators um, because it's kind of awkward to be like, you know, I'm a tall 27 year old woman with black hair and blah, 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 right? Okay, so let's read this. Deep set and doleful gray eyes framed by dark furrowed brows were anchored in an oval face that someone had once said was too long. Her cheeks were flushed in part by the fresh spring air and pasted across her brow were strands of black hair that had slipped from its bla braid, tousled from the rounds already spent sparring with one of her newest recruits, Sir Baron Pollard of Ryangard. Again, objectively well written, just not really the place for it. We're only four paragraphs in. Now there's one glaring mistake in this that I wonder, can you see it yet? Do you see it? We'll get back to that in a second, because let me say right here, what I've underlined, strands of black hair that had slipped from its braid. This is good because it has layers. I talk about this, that the more layers of purpose details have, the more that they earn their place in the narration. If you'd like me to edit your work like this, go to my Patreon and sign up. You can get to it through the link tree on my TikTok profile. Follow for more of this series and more writing advice and happy writing!